For over a century, dams have symbolized human ingenuity and progress. Towering structures of concrete and steel, they have tamed rivers, generated electricity, and provided water for irrigation and consumption. However, a dramatic shift is underway. Across the globe, a growing movement is calling for the removal of these aging behemoths. From the United States to Europe, dams are being dismantled at an unprecedented rate, marking a new era in our relationship with rivers and the natural world. This monumental undertaking reflects a growing awareness of the ecological and social costs associated with large dams. While they offer undeniable benefits, dams also come with a hefty price tag often disrupting ecosystems, displacing communities and exacerbating climate change. As we grapple with the consequences of our past actions, dismantling dams represents a powerful act of restoration, offering a chance to heal damaged rivers and reclaim lost ecological treasures. The decision to remove a dam is never taken lightly. It involves complex considerations, balancing the needs of various stakeholders and weighing the economic, social and environmental implications. Yet, as the evidence of their detrimental impacts mounts, dam removal is increasingly recognised as a necessary step towards a more sustainable and equitable future. This essay delves into the burgeoning dam dismantling movement, exploring its motivations, examining key projects and highlighting the profound ecological and social benefits of freeing our rivers. The construction of large dams surged in the 20th century, driven by the promise of cheap electricity, flood control and increased water availability for agriculture and urban centres. These concrete giants reshaped landscapes and fueled economic growth, becoming symbols of national pride and human dominance over nature. However, the initial euphoria surrounding dams gradually gave way to a more nuanced understanding of their long-term impacts. Rivers, once teeming with life and flowing freely to the sea, were transformed into stagnant reservoirs, their natural cycles disrupted. Fish migration routes were blocked, sediment flow interrupted, and downstream ecosystems deprived of vital nutrients. Moreover, dam construction often came at a steep social cost. Indigenous communities were displaced from their ancestral lands, their cultural heritage submerged beneath artificial lakes. Farmlands were flooded, towns relocated, and the voices of those most affected often silenced in the name of progress. The damming of the Colorado River in the United States, for example, led to the creation of Lake Powell, a popular recreation area. However, it also drastically altered the river's flow, impacting downstream ecosystems and contributing to the ongoing water crisis in the American Southwest. As the negative consequences of dams became increasingly apparent, a growing chorus of voices began to question their legacy. Scientists, conservationists and communities impacted by these structures advocated for a more holistic approach to water management, one that recognised the intrinsic value of free-flowing rivers and the rights of those who depend on them. The Klamath River, which flows through Oregon and California, stands as a powerful testament to the transformative potential of dam removal. For over a century, four hydroelectric dams have obstructed the river's natural flow, decimating salmon populations, degrading water quality and impacting the livelihoods of indigenous tribes who have relied on the river for millennia. After decades of advocacy and negotiation, a historic agreement was reached in 2020 to remove the four dams, marking the largest dam removal project in US history. The Klamath River Renewal Project, as it is known, is driven by a shared commitment to restore the river's health, revive its salmon runs and honour the cultural heritage of the Klamath tribes. The removal of these ageing dams is expected to have a cascade of positive ecological effects. By re-establishing natural river flows, sediment transport and water temperatures, the project aims to create more suitable spawning grounds for salmon, improve water quality and enhance the overall health of the river ecosystem. The Klamath River project serves as a beacon of hope, demonstrating that large-scale dam removal is not only possible, but also presents a viable path towards ecological restoration and social justice. 
It highlights the importance of collaboration and dialogue in addressing complex environmental challenges and offers a model for similar efforts around the world. The Klamath River is just one example of the many dam removal projects underway across the United States. From the Penobscot River in Maine to the Elwha River in Washington, communities are recognizing the ecological and social benefits of freeing their rivers. The ecological rationale for dam removal is multifaceted and compelling. It encompasses a wide range of environmental, social and economic benefits that collectively make a strong case for rethinking our approach to river management. Dams act as barriers to the natural flow of rivers, disrupting sediment transport, altering water temperatures and impeding the movement of aquatic species. These structures, while often built with the intention of providing hydroelectric power, irrigation and flood control, can have unintended consequences that ripple through entire ecosystems. These disruptions can have cascading effects on entire ecosystems, leading to biodiversity loss, habitat degradation and altered food webs. When sediment transport is interrupted, it can result in the erosion of riverbanks downstream and the loss of fertile soil, which is crucial for plant growth and the overall health of the ecosystem. One of the most significant impacts of dams is on fish populations, particularly migratory species like salmon and sturgeon. These fish rely on free-flowing rivers to reach their spawning grounds where they reproduce and ensure the survival of their species. Dams block their upstream migration routes, preventing them from reaching their spawning grounds and completing their life cycles. This interruption not only affects the fish themselves, but also the predators and other species that depend on them for food, creating a ripple effect throughout the food web. This obstruction has contributed to the decline of many fish populations worldwide, impacting both biodiversity and the livelihoods of communities that depend on these species for sustenance and cultural practices. In many indigenous cultures, fish like salmon hold significant cultural and spiritual value, and their decline can have profound social implications. Dam removal can help to reverse these negative trends by restoring natural river flows, reconnecting fragmented habitats, and allowing fish to once again access their historical spawning grounds. This process can lead to the recovery of fish populations and the restoration of the intricate web of life that depends on them. By removing these barriers, we create opportunities for populations to rebound and for ecosystems to regain their resilience. The return of natural river dynamics can also help to re-establish the natural processes that maintain the health and balance of these ecosystems. The benefits of dam removal extend beyond fish populations. Restoring natural river flows can have far-reaching positive impacts on the entire ecosystem, including improved water quality, enhanced habitat diversity and increased resilience to climate change. Restoring natural river flows can help to improve water quality, reduce the risk of harmful algal blooms and enhance the overall health of riparian ecosystems. Algal blooms, which can be toxic to both wildlife and humans, often thrive in the stagnant waters created by dams. By re-establishing natural flow patterns, we can mitigate these risks and promote a healthier aquatic environment. By allowing rivers to meander, flood and deposit sediment naturally, we create a more dynamic and diverse environment that can support a wider array of plant and animal life. This diversity is crucial for the resilience of ecosystems, as it allows them to better withstand and adapt to environmental changes and stresses. In the coming sections, we will explore the global scope of the dam dismantling movement, examining successful projects from around the world, and highlighting the shared goals of restoring biodiversity, improving water quality, and creating a more sustainable future for all. From the Elwha River in the United States to the Loire River in France, these projects demonstrate the potential for dam removal to bring about positive environmental change on a global scale. We will also delve into the challenges and considerations involved in these efforts, including the social, economic and logistical aspects of dam removal. By understanding the full scope of this movement, we can better appreciate the importance of restoring our rivers and the vital role they play in maintaining the health of our planet.